Hello, and my name is Alex Glazer with the Glazer Group here at Cobalt Banker in beautiful Richmond, Virginia. And thank you so much for joining me for your March 2017 Richmond Real Estate Market Update. So 2017 has gotten off to a pretty busy start. Uh, taking a look to see what happened last month in February, there was a little bit over 1,500 sales here in the Richmond metro area. And then taking a look at compared to what was available for sale at the end of the month, there was almost 2,400 homes for sale. So to put that in perspective, well first off, 64% of what was available sold, which is a lot. Uh, the overall amount of sales was up 10% over last February, and inventory was down 20% over last February which was closer to 2,900 homes for sale. So just thinking about it in simple supply and demand, supply is down, demand is up. We are definitely in a seller's market here in Central Virginia. Uh, taking a look at what's been happening so far in March, uh, the inventory is starting to finally creep up. We're a little bit closer to 2,600 homes for sale now, which is normal. You know, the spring market, normally more people put their house up for sale. And then I know we've got a few days left here in March, but we're over 1,600 sales already for the month of March, which is gonna make March shape up to another phenomenal month. Another thing that we like to take a look at in terms of how healthy or what's going on in a market is the median days on market, how long things are taking to sell. And last month in February, it was only 28 days. And compared to last year, February was closer to 39 days. So on top of all of the low, or low supply, high demand, we have a shorter days of market. It's all things pointing to a healthy, kind of crazy market right now. Uh, interest rates are also another important thing to keep a look at. A lot of people, and I think this is partly why we're having such a busy early part of the spring, uh, they're raising interest rates slowly and it was inevitable you know when you have a healthy economy you definitely need you can't just keep them artificially low that's not good for long-term economic health so in November we were right around 3.5 percent now here in mid to late March we're closer to four to four and a quarter so overall not that much higher a little bit higher but I think a lot of people are wanting to buy now before rates go up again uh, there are some estimates of them going up to about 5% by the end of this year or somewhere into 2018. So even though they are going up, they're not going up super fast, so nothing to you know, panic about, but that is something to keep in mind that as interest rates go up, that makes money less affordable. So you at the same job and same income, as interest rates go up, the amount of a house that you can buy starts going down or at least the price goes up to buy that same house. Uh, something else I just want to make sure you're aware of is uh, we started earlier this year, 2017. Every sale that we do here at the Glazer Group are contributing to a local animal shelter. It's called Richmond Animal League. Uh, for every home that we sell, we're donating the amount it costs for them to house a pet until they are adopted. And then for every home that one of our clients buys, we're sending one of their shelter dogs on a two-hour adventure hike around at one of the Richmond local parks just to kind of get them out of those you know, smaller areas that they have to wait around for someone to adopt them. So if you know anyone at all looking to buy or sell, we definitely would love to help them out and then in return help the community out with the animal shelter here. If you have any questions at all about what's going on in your market or anything real estate related at all, please don't hesitate to reach out. We're always here to help. Again, my name is Alex Glazer with Cobalt Banker. All my information's here at the bottom, and I look forward to talking with you next month. See you then.